My name is Josefina. I'm a mixed media artist from Chile. So as I was writing my thesis, I started questioning the idea of space and how do you perceive space in the absence of architecture. It's how we perceive home without architectural demarcations or how we perceive home when the structures are temporary, can be are portable, can be carried from place to place. After researching about uh, contemporary nomadic communities, I, I got across uh, the, the Turkana. I, I was re reading about them and I got very impressed of, by the kind of constructions they have. The publications that I could find are not very recent. I mean, the research has been done in the 80s and they've been published in the 90s. I decided just to go ahead and go to Turkana and meet the people and just experience life as they see it on their daily basis. Art is a visual language that uh, humans use to communicate and uh, Moonrose found a connection between the two when she brought in the anthropology of the people, their art and their artifacts and used her own art to portray to us or to bring out her ideas of space. The exhibition is uh, divided in different sections and the idea is to guide the visitor through different aspects that I was studying while at Turkana. So at the entrance we have a series of six pictures here and two more outside that just uh, give a like kind of like a documentation of the of the daily life uh, with the Turkana nomadic communities. So in these two series I present a, a study of the Turkana Akai. Akai means house in Turkana. And the idea of having this series is to, is to evidence the different kind of, of constructions they have there. It's very interesting to see how uh, in one same tribe you have very different uh, kind of buildings. It's in some way they all have their, their own personality. I mean, they're unique pieces. For me, I, I see them as uh, very much as cultural shapes, which have a lot of detail and you know, craft in the manufacture. In this picture, I present myself inside the wooden structures to reference the idea of the relationship between the structure and the body. I have these two drawings where I'm uh, very much oriented to the details of the connections that make up these units. So in this one, this piece is uh, graphite with watercolor. I make a very detailed analysis of the connections between the branches. For me, it's very important to show that, that this is a serious study. I, I've not only just been playing with branches, but actually I've been playing, that's truth, but I've also been studying the way the Turkana people make their constructions and how, how they, they, with very simple materials, they make very complex and intricate shapes. So here what I've done is take a photography of the structures and then digitally erased all the background so you can really focus on the structure. I was migrating with the Turkana. I took a lot of videos of every step of the process. You know, the packing, the moving, the settling, the building, all of it. And then upon revising this footage, I came across the image of the women, the Turkana women carrying these metal boxes through the desert. And for me, that image was very poetic and I felt that I had somehow to work with it. One of the daily activities that the Turkana women do is the water fetching. And that can be a very long and intense process. The small girls, they get the small containers, water containers, usually jerry cans or bottles. And then the, the adult women, they take the big 20 liter ones. So here I'm, I'm representing 365 liters of water through these plaster castings of the inside of the jerry cans. Now, why 365? When I was there, I had to go also with the women and fetch my own water. And as I cannot carry, you know, a jerry can in my head, and I'm not strong enough to take these 20 liter ones, I had a very small container with me, and I didn't go every day. So sometimes I had this one liter of water that was my, my daily, you know, allowance per day. Uh, with which I had to cook and wash myself and brush my teeth and drink. Chile is a place that we had no idea about. <laughs> All 11 of them, including Josefina. 
Well, we learned a lot while she's been here. She's truly become a Kenyan. Um, we'll claim her. Because she's taken the pains of traveling as far as Trukana and spent months, not just one month, but two, traveling, building manyatas, the structures behind you, riding on donkeys, smelling like dirt, <laughs> eating what they eat, and really assimilating their lifestyle. I have to say, first of all, um, you, you fill us full of pride uh, and honor, and I'm very humbled uh, to say something about your great work. Uh, I think you, the, the two words there, space and place, uh, in a way, give us a sense of perspective. Photographs are photographs, and a lot of artists uh, photograph. But when you look at Josefina's light boxes, they, they just are shocking, fantastic. These old suitcases, the way she's depicted the Turkana tribe uh, as nomadic, transient suitcase. They put all their valuables in the suitcase and uh, yeah, I'm truly amazed uh, that a Chilean artist can come up with such an exhibition for our Kenyan people. I liked the way she used different mediums to show all of her work. I think it's amazing. I think it's an extensive study of subject matter and I think these are the type of installations that we want to see here. I think the show was really, really awesome, especially how Josefina was able to come up with the whole concept of transient and how getting the inspiration from Turukana. For me personally, I feel it was an achievement for her and getting to work on this project together with me was an interesting thing in some of the images that she had to show. The show basically shows a lot of things. She's very dynamic and she can do a lot of work and uh, we are happy. It is very nice and very exciting. So many of us need to go there and, and actually feel that place and not undervalue it. It's probably one of the richest places in Kenya. This project that's titled Transient Inspired by Turkana is the result of um, or a little bit over two months of research in Turkana, in northwest Kenya, with nomadic communities, and then a little bit over three months of artists in residence. Uh, I've been working in Kuona Trust in Nairobi, then I was working in Nafasi Art Space in Dar es Salaam, and then I was working with a Tafaria Foundation uh, between Nieri and Yanyuki. So through these three artists in residence programs, I was able to develop a body of work inspired by my experience in Turkana that, I now, that now I'm showing at the Nairobi National Museum.